at the end of the first episode, you have a big line. Mm -hmm. Max has a big line. She can never know about what happened to Rosa. Mm -hmm. It leads us as viewers to a lot of questions. Yes. What happened to Rosa and how were you and Isabella involved? What did you do, Max? Well, this is an investigation though. <sighs> well. Clearly. Um, Keep in mind, you're being recorded. So <laughs> I, <laughs> just reveal episode two. <laughs> yeah, um, that is is the question of the season, really. Yeah. And and um, that's a question that truly we don't even know the answer to until the very end. That's mm -hmm. sort of where, what leads yeah. the season forward is figuring out and what, what keeps really us did apart, happen. Yeah, what, exactly. Which is great, yeah. like that. that is, because there's so much love there off the top in that yeah. pilot that, you know, it's like, when will we be able to make space and time for each other? Because, you know, there needs to be a big obstacle to keep it apart, and that is the big obstacle. That is the murder mystery that like mm -hmm. runs through the spine of the show, and the complications of it, finagling it, figuring out more and more. It drives the whole season, and by by the time we get to like episode five, it just it turns into a suspense. It, it's like mm -hmm. a thriller. It moves so fast, and yeah. information is pouring, pouring, pouring. Mm -hmm. But the other obstacle, tell me, Mains. Yes, he says the aliens are here to kill. Right, mm -hmm. and he's sort of you know mm -hmm. affecting Kyle and implanting his beliefs on right. sweet Kyle. Yes, yeah. so he's not that and sweet. And that's the thing. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Where's Trevino? <laughs> he's gonna pop out. Like, I okay, know, right? Okay. Let me just like put my pitch for it. <laughs> okay, okay. Not Katrina pitch. <laughs> Um, no, absolutely, and that's a great example because he is someone who, for Liz right now, mm -hmm. is very much on the, he's an ally, and Mains is potentially corrupting that. And the idea of who can I trust, who can know, who knows what, it's, it's, it, those, every episode, it's, it's, um, reassessing, um, who's on our side, like, who is safe, and, yeah. Yeah. it, yeah, it's a lot of, like, walking on eggshells for them, and it, I mean, it's, um, such a tiny little town in which you're doing that. So it just seems like such big high stake problems to these people who are like, I'm also just trying to go be a cop at the corner, <laughs> work. you know, of Maine and like, you know, yeah. it's like um, uh, maintaining that facade and dealing with the big problems. Um, be a cop on the corner with Riley Volkel who enters the show <laughs> mm -hmm. in episode two. Yes. So what's that like? Working with Riley? Yeah. This is actually our third show together. Yeah, I just meant more of the character interactions. Oh, and okay. Yeah, because they're both on the uh, force. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's sort mm -hmm. of, you know, work relationships are generally discouraged. <laughs> um, <laughs> I do believe there are probably policies about that. <laughs> Definitely are policies about that. Um, yeah, I think that with Cameron, it's, it's Again, when I was going about this like tiny little life trying to control everything and, mm -hmm. and she was this sort of like safe, convenient option that was like, it was fine. Mm -hmm. um, and then Liz comes blowing into my world mm -hmm. and uh, immediately my instinct as Max is to sort of run for what is familiar and what is safe and like, oh my God, I can't yeah. believe that my secret is now out. Now yeah. somebody knows about it. Mm -hmm. and this is not like delicate about it. She's like, no. tell me everything. I know, it's, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's like in your face. Brutal. Right. So I think the instinct yeah. is to run to like, mm -hmm. okay, this is familiar. This is a safe place. And, mm -hmm. um, uh, but there's nothing in that relationship that compares to what I feel for Liz. I mean. You know, so it's mm -hmm. doing myself a disservice and, and it's, um, you know, just getting in my own crazy. way. That's what I love about the show, because it, it, it's very much an a, adult show in that way. Yeah. And not like the original, it's high school, where it's like, you know, you have your ways of coping with stuff, and they have a very big divide and, and broken heart, the two of them, because they're not together. Yeah. And yeah. so it's the ways in which they reluctantly cope, and they're just yeah. like, I'll do this yeah, to neither get of them, another day. Neither of them really have healthy coping mechanisms. No, I mean, no. both of them are like, point. I mean, yeah. there's this, I cannot wait for this scene, this like opening of an episode where Liz is like, it's like middle morning, and she's like halfway through a bottle of wine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, good coping, good coping. Like,